Davis. And her opponent across the ring fighting out of the, the blue corner. She wears the white trunks with the blue trim. She scaled 125.6 pounds. Her young professional record thus far perfect. Two fights, two victories. Fighting out of Queensland, Australia. Here is the 2020 Olympian and Commonwealth Games gold medalist, Scott Nicholson. Nicholson. Okay, boxers, you received your instructions early. As a reminder, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. If you want, touch gloves. Come out at the bell. There you see Sky Nicholson in the white trunks with the blue top. Standing at 5'5". Five, five. And Paisley Davis entering at 3-1 and one out of Houston. She stands at 5'3", a fast-paced fighter. Stays busy behind her jab. Nicholson more... Uh, a quick in and out style, the southpaw, again trying to quickly build up her pro resume. As we get going here, our second fight on before the bell. We saw that in and out style frequently in, in San Diego, Chris. But we saw more power punches, more left hands, a little bit more pressure in Sky's second fight against Beck Connolly. I think she landed more power shots in the first three rounds against Connolly than she did in her entire six rounds against Jessica Juarez. Yeah, that's a great point. You can see already she, she's a lot more set in her feet. She's not having that in and out, bouncing up and down style like we saw in that first fight. Um, so she definitely has been working on things in the gym and understanding that the pros are different. Yeah, I would agree. You know, I think Davis's movement right now would kind of be difficult to see even time with with the bouncing. So I kind of like the pace that Sky is at right now. Davis was asked about her path to a win. She simply said, apply smart pressure as she eats a left hand from Nicholson. But she doesn't want Nicholson's confidence to allow her to control the fight. She doesn't want to chase Nicholson down. She knows that she has the good reach, the long arms, but it comes down to pressuring Nicholson and trying to make her uncomfortable. You don't want to get baited in with someone with a long reach from like Nicholson. And again, another left hand from Sky, and it comes with a smile. I, th I don't think that Nicholson really needed to move that much or needs to move that much. She has great fade in her stance. She can plant her feet and be able to pull way back because of her reach and length. Two big left hands from Sky, a third one to the sternum of Davis. Coming back with a right hook. Nice. Accuracy on display in the opening round from Sky Nicholson. That's a tone setter. Good opening round. Alicia, how good does it feel to walk back into your corner after a dominant first round? It feels great. I'm like, okay, let's have fun. You know, when, when you have that confidence, you're, you're, you're going to enjoy your performance and just doing it and also. Like, what's next? I'm like, no, Michael, okay, what do you want me to do next? Keep doing what you're doing, right? In the lead up to this match here on this night, Sky was asked what she wanted to showcase and alluded it before the match. She said that she, and, and this goes without being prompted too, she said that she was trying to change styles just a little bit. Her coach, Eddie Lamb, over at iBox in London, she said they're sitting down more on punches, being more aggressive, gaining power. She admitted the changes aren't going to come overnight. But we saw small samples of them in that Connolly fight. We saw really a whole different fighter in this first round compared to her first six professional rounds in San Diego. Yeah, absolutely. She's a lot more comfortable, a lot more calm. She's setting her stance. She's trying to land power punches. She's throwing more combinations, too, which has been very effective so far.
I like Davis's movement. You know, again, she's she's still showing she's in the fight. She's coming forward regardless if she can get hit with you know the, the, her long jab. Yeah, she's trying. She's just not really sure how to get to Sky Nicholson. One, she's a southpaw. Two, she's taller. Three, she's longer. Plus the experience, but she's trying. Ooh, tough coat to shot. crack. And a left hand cracks Davis. And Nicholson winds up, goes upstairs, then downstairs, back up. I mean, if Davis is going to have a chance, she's going to have to punch with Nicholson. When she's throwing her shots, she got to try and hit her at the same time. I would agree. Because the range and the movement is just going to be a nightmare to deal with. But how difficult is that when you're dealing with a fighter whose reach is as long as Sky's? Yeah, well, that, that, I mean, that therein lies the issue. And that's why I think that her counters, she's going to have to wait till Sky commits in order to throw her own shot. Also, coming with the experience as well, knowing, you know, how can I be effective with the southpaw, who's longer, how can I get inside? like this fight with um, Sky and Davis because when you're watching a women's fight, you're not just seeing a one-sided. I mean, here you can see obviously Sky's in control, but it still gives more to a women's fight that a lot of people are not used to seeing, and I like that. I like this choice for Sky. Eddie Hearn said at the press conference that Sky wasn't happy that her last fight was against more of a, he used the term, more of a journey woman opponent with Beck Connolly. She has said from the start, she does not want to waste time padding her record with wins that she knows can come easily. She wants quality right out of the gate. She wants to be in real fights. And this is a quality opponent. You could see Paisley Davis coming here for the win. She's just having a tough time cracking the code right now of the Aussie. I like that mentality. I mean, especially when you've got a deep amateur background the way that Nicholson does. I mean, come out the gate, look to make some big noise, make, make a splash. There's no reason to, like, like she said, try and get fights that she's going to win easily. Let's progress. Let's get toward, toward that title. I would agree, and I would say the women's division gives women that opportunity a little faster than the men, given, you know, the competition that we do have. Beautiful lead right to a check hook by Sky Nicholson. Nicholson looking to change levels. And again, a counter right from Sky. But Davis still coming on strong, trying to find the seam, the path on the inside. Really difficult when you have the long range Nicholson. I like that we're seeing fighters like Nicholson that we're seeing out of the gate, their pro debut. We're seeing them progress as a pro. Each fight, you see that she's adding new folds, new new aspects to her game, and we're here to see it each and every time. The quality left cross lands by Nicholson. Davis continues to try and discover the correct timing, the correct path to get closer to Sky Nicholson. So far, she's been unsuccessful. Before the bell, Rashad Mahdi going up against Joe Eli Hernandez. And then a regional title bout coming up between two undefeated fighters, Austin Ammo Williams and Cordell Booker. And the main car starting over on the zone at 7.30 Eastern. As we take a look at Eddie Lamb, Sky Nicholson's trainer.
What advice can you offer a fighter who's seemingly doing all the right things heading into the mid portion of the match? You know, I would like her to take take control of of this round. You know, have fun. Kind of like put the put the pressure on her. Kind of make it a fight. I like fights. I agree 100. percent I think you know we've seen that. Sky can, can outclass Davis. Let's see if she can put some hurt on her. This is the pro ranks. This is what we need to do. You got to do some damage, too. Fourth round between Nicholson and Davis. Sky and Nicholson were in the white trunks with the blue top, and Paisley Davis in the all black. You can just see the, the, the self awareness and the understanding of the range. Nicholson knows exactly where she is. She knows exactly where she needs to be to land her shots and not get hit back. She was gifted with those long arms, that terrific range, and she is using it to her full capabilities. Good feint. Again, in and out with the with the jab. I remember hearing an interview from Sergio Martinez, another jabbing, moving southpaw, uh, former undisputed middleweight champion. He said, "Boxing's easy. It's all about timing and distance." And Sky Nicholson is showing that exactly right now. Timing and distance. I wouldn't really agree that boxing is easy, but <laughs> Sergio's not wrong about the other part. Paisley Davis staying in front of Nicholson. Her head snapped back with that quick up jab. Another one from Sky Nicholson. She's having fun now. Dancing on her feet. 15 seconds to go. Wax her with a left hand. Davis lands a jab. Comes inside, but immediately Sky Nicholson repositioning herself nicely. Four rounds in the books. sense a little hesitation from Paisley Davis on certain potential openings here this past round? Yeah, I mean, Davis is, she's getting, she's getting tattooed throughout every round. She's not able to land. One th it's one thing to get hit all the time. It's one thing not to be able to land on your opponent. That's the most frustrating thing. When your opponent has good defense, you're not able to touch them. That's, that's the biggest confidence destroyer possible. I would agree. I would definitely get frustrated when I can't, when I can't land the punch. So it's just like, what am I supposed to do? It's almost like a glass window in between you and your opponent. This thing, when you're not landing, you're not in the fight. Fifth round underway between Nicholson and Davis. Our second bout here on Before the Bell. Along with Chris Algieri and Alicia Bumgarner, I'm Justin Shackle. We are counting down until the main card at 7.30 Eastern. Nice right hand from Nicholson here at Madison Square Garden. Later tonight, Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano for the undisputed championship at 135 pounds. Beautiful jab. I'm gonna write down the shoot from Sky Nicholson. And a terrific extension. Yeah, Sky's shown a very educated lead right hand tonight, whether it's the jab, the check hooks, or in combination with the right hook. Seems like something they were definitely working on in the gym. And she's been able to capitalize all night long. A stiff jab. And another. Right hook. Going back. Full extension. And she buzzes her with a left hand. Big left hand on the side of Davis's face. Guy Nicholson having fun, making history in the process. The first Australian woman to compete here at Madison Square Garden. Champ, let me ask you a question. Now, obviously, Sky doesn't have the power like you have. What can she do to try and do more damage and potentially get a stoppage or a knockdown against Davis? You know, I would like to see her establish sitting, her, sitting on her back leg a little more. She has the power, and then I think if she utilizes her legs a little more, pushing off your back leg, you can really just come right down the middle 
and I think she'll per possess her power a little better. Because you can pick your pick your shots, you know, throw your jabs, but I think she has the power in the legs to really sit down on her punches. So maybe, you know, in incorporate the sitting down. Great insight there. It's all in the legs, baby. Yeah. All in the legs. <laughs> For a fighter like her, kind of fighting on the go in terms of development here. How do you kind of incorporate that into your training? Um, you know, you you gotta just slow the pace down. I know her her being an amateur, she's used to a faster pace, so I get the movement. But sometimes you just you're gonna have to go three rounds with a, a, a guy, a male fighter, who's gonna sit there with you, and you you know you're moving, you're sitting down on your punches, and you're not you're not you're not gonna have too much movement. Maybe even put your foot in the tire. Yeah, you know, are you familiar? That that will keep you right in the middle, not even having to move anymore. Harvey Dock having them touch gloves as we begin the sixth and final round of this one. Featherweight contest between Sky Nicholson and Paisley Davis. Sky Nicholson trying to win her third pro fight in 57 days. I will say one thing about Sky. I like the fact that even though she's having fun, even though she's having her way and she's trying new things, she's still been defensively sound. She hasn't been getting caught. She's maintained that distance. She hasn't been getting sloppy. I would agree. She's definitely keeping her composure in there. Just having control and having fun. It looked like Davis there had a little bit of a shoulder situation when she missed one of those wide swinging shots. She came up wincing. A minute 15 to go. Does Nicholson sense that's an opportunity to lay some hurt on her? One technical difference I do see from Sky is that she's when she's throwing her left hand, she's really getting her head to the outside. She wasn't doing that as much in her pro debut, kind of leaving her head right on the middle, where she was able to get tagged some from time to time. There it is again. Gets her head offline, throws the left hand to the body. Good three punch combo from Nicholson. Another lead right, finding a home for Sky Nicholson here on Before the Bell. Nicholson coming into New York City, doing a lot of media requirements, fulfilling all those obligations, experiencing the full fight week. She said she likes to fight in the U.S. This has been a week with plenty of pinch me moments for Sky Nicholson. This is a fighter that grew up looking up at Katie Taylor for everything that Taylor's been able to do for women's boxing oh. amateur rankings. And down goes Davis as we close things out here in the sixth and final round. First knockdown for Sky Nicholson as a pro. Well, good pull, champ. You said she's got the power. <laughs> That, that's a great feeling, you know. That's a great feeling. Nice icing on the cake there. And that caps an essentially flawless performance in the Big Apple for Sky Nicholson. Just a straight left hand. We saw plenty of them here at MSG from Sky Nicholson. You could tell Sky was really putting on the pressure toward the end of that last round. She knew there was not much time left. She wanted to do as much damage as she could, and she put a real exclamation point on that on that performance tonight. As she should. I think that was great that she noticed that. And again, this just shows more of her who her profile is, who she is as a fighter, and again, moving forward to her next fight. All in all, a very good developmental fight. That was a quality opponent who was in there not trying not to lose. She was standing in front of her, competing. And Sky Nicholson continuing to try different things, maneuver around, ultimately getting her first knockdown as a pro. Kind of just look at her left hand. Yeah, this, this yeah, could be some quality work. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Manager Paul Reddy says that the plan is to have one more fight at this pace. So maybe four fights in a span of 80 to 90 days. Hopefully in her first eight rounder. And she'll take some time off, go home to Australia, come back, train in the UK, gear up for two more fights. 
to close out 2022. Let's go down to the ring and make it official with David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of action here at Madison Square Garden, we go to the judges' score totals. All three judges scored this bout identically, 60 to 53. For your winner, by unanimous decision, she's still undefeated, Sky Nicholson. No question there in the score. That was a pretty easy one to score. Clean sweep. Guy Nicholson improves to 3-0. Three fights in less than 60 days. And she wants to get at least six matches under her belt before the close of 2022. You see Sky being greeted by Eddie Hearn as she comes out of the ring. All smiles, especially after that first round. 